you have a Windows computer with a measly 256 gigabyte SSD that is running out of space. So you replace it with a new two terabyte SSD and clone the contents of your old drive to the new one. But when you try to expand the C drive partition to take advantage of the added space, you see that the default recovery partition prevents you from doing so. Without having to resort to third party tools, you have to take two actions. Delete the OE recovery partition and expand the C drive partition to take up the remaining free space. Additionally, you want to create a new recovery partition so that you can take advantage of the Windows recovery environment if the need arises. To create a new recovery partition, you will need to have Windows installed media available and mounted. Specifically, you will need the original install.wim from the sources folder. If you do not have installed media, you can download it from Microsoft here. The recovery partition is home to the Windows recovery environment, WinRE. WinRE, based on the Windows pre-installation environment, Windows PE, is a special recovery environment that can repair common causes of an unbootable operating system. To create a Windows PE ISO or USB boot image, see my video here. WinRE can be customized and is default preloaded into Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server 2016 and later. You can enter WinRE using a couple of methods. From the login screen or the start menu, click the power icon and hold down the shift key while selecting restart. For Windows 10, 22H2, click Start, Settings, Update and Security, Recovery. Under Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. For Windows 11, 23H2 or 24H2, click Start, Settings, System, Recovery. Under Advanced Startup, Click Restart Now. Note that these entry points do not work on a target system when in a remote desktop session. Given the initial scenario with the new 2 terabyte drive installed and the C drive extended, we're going to create a new recovery partition. But first, boot into the Windows recovery environment without a recovery partition. For Windows 11, click Start, Settings, System, Recovery, and under Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. In the recovery environment, click Troubleshoot. Notice there are only two options. Startup Settings, and UEFI Firmware Settings. Click the back arrow and select Continue to boot into the OS. With the C drive extended to encompass the entire remainder of the disk, we have to shrink it a little bit to fit the recovery partition. We can use either Disk Management or the PowerShell Resize-Partition commandlet. To shrink using Disk Management, right-click on the Start flag and select Disk Management. Right-click the C partition and select Shrink Volume. Enter 1024 to shrink by 1 gigabyte and click Shrink. To shrink using PowerShell, open an administrative PowerShell session, identify the proper disk, Identify the proper partition. Shrink the C drive partition 
a one gigabyte. Now, with adequate unallocated space at the end of the disk, we can create a new special partition. Microsoft recommends the recovery partition be placed behind the Windows partition, and the partition must use this grid for the type ID. Format the partition as NTFS, give it a label, and assign a temp drive letter. Create the necessary folder structure. Create a temp folder into which we will mount the install.wim from our installation media. Using DISM, Deployment, Image, Servicing, and Management, we'll mount the install.wim to our temp folder. Using Robocopy, copy the recovery tools. Copy the winre.wim to the recovery partition. Unmount the install.wim from the temp folder. We no longer need it. Use the recovery agent tool to configure and enable the Windows recovery environment. Remove the temp drive letter and temp folder. Verify Windows recovery environment configuration. Boot into the Windows recovery environment. Again, for Windows 11, click Start, Settings, System, Recovery, and under Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. In the recovery environment, click Troubleshoot. Click Advanced Options. Notice the additional tools. Click See More Recovery Options. Here, you will see System Image Recovery. Click the back arrow twice, followed by Continue, to boot back into the OS. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.